AYAB stands for All Yarns Are Beautiful. It's an open source project to retrofit old brother knitting machines so they can be controlled by computer. I have a Brother 910, which is one of the supported machines. There are links to all of this in the description. There is custom hardware that connects the machine to an Arduino that then communicates with a desktop application over USB. I'm comfortable soldering, so I got the hardware kit from Red Pink Green on Etsy and assembled it myself. I'm designing the yoke for a modified round yoke sweater, so I'm going to walk you through how I design Fair Isle patterns with free software and AYAB. This is adapted from the pattern creation and Fair Isle setup instructions in the AYAB manual. We're starting with GIMP, an open source image editor. Create a new image and set the size to the number of stitches and the number of rows you want in your pattern. And it's tiny, but we can zoom in with the drop down at the bottom or in the view menu. To make it easier to see the individual stitches, turn on the grid and then enable snap to grid. Now our pencil tool is way too big, so take the size all the way down to one and turn the hardness up to 100 so that you don't wind up with gray pixels. The last setup step is converting the image to one bit color so we're only dealing with black and white. And then you can start creating your design using the pencil tool and the eraser. The white pixels will be your main color and the black pixels will be your secondary color. I'm going for an abstract geometric thing here that's more dense at the top and less dense at the bottom. In Fair Isle, the yarn not in use is carried behind the work creating floats. If the floats get too long, they'll snag on things. I try to make sure that there are no floats longer than four stitches. That means no rows where there are more than four black or white pixels in a row. When you're happy with the design, save it as an XCF file so you can come back and edit it later. I like to put the dimensions of the design in the file name so it's easier to find later. Then you need to export the project in a form that the AYAB desktop software can work with. PNG, with all of the default export settings, works well. And you're done. Let's load it up in AYAB. It is here somewhere. There it is. You can zoom in using the mouse wheel or pinch to zoom. And now I want to make this wider, so I'll open image actions and then the repeat dialog. It's fine vertically, but I want it to be wider, so I'll increase the horizontal repeat to four. I've already got some knitting on the machine, so I'll set the start and end needle. Orange is on the left and green is on the right. This helps with the carriage turnaround and advancing to the next row. Up here you'll see that there's no port selected. That's because I forgot to plug the interface in. This is my AYAB interface. I've got a USB hooked up to it already. And when I plug it in, you'll see the red LED in the back comes on. Now, if you click the refresh button, the port shows up in port selection dropdown. Then click Configure and Knit. Make sure the machine is plugged in and the power is on. Set the carriage to KC1 or KC2. Feed your main yarn into the carriage. Then move the carriage to the right until you hear a beep. Then two more beeps. 
This tells you the pattern's loaded and you can start knitting. The first pass of the carriage only brings the needles out into upper working position. After you hear a beep, stop the carriage, press the MC button, and thread in the second color. Then keep knitting. The needles in upper working position will knit the second color, and the rest will knit the first color. As you go, the desktop application advances through the rows. Move the carriage until you hear a beep, then change directions. Here's a closer look. When you get to the end of the pattern, AYAB will send seven beeps. Or is that nine beeps? After this, you can finish the piece as you normally would. Here's my swatch on waste yarn. Fair Isle has a slightly different gauge than regular stockinette, even at the same tension, so make sure to swatch and take that into consideration in your patterns. Here's the pattern in my round yoke test swatch. It isn't quite what I wanted, but it's easy to go back and make changes and then swatch again. If you want to see the sweater that I'm working on, subscribe and click the bell to be notified when that video is ready. Have fun knitting!